Enemy UAV overhead. Yo, 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 what is up, Click21? I wasn't even gonna do a video today, but I did wanna show you guys that there is a new update to Zen Studio and firmware when it comes to your Cronus Zen. So we're gonna go ahead and break it down step by step what you need to do, that way you can access Zen Studio and get the latest firmware on your Cronus. All right, let's do it. All right, guys, we're gonna keep this video short and sweet. So the first thing you may notice when you try to open up Zen Studio is that you'll get some error message popping up. It's gonna tell you that you need to download the latest version of Zen Studio. So what's gonna happen, guys, once you get this error message, just close it out. We're gonna go ahead and delete this old beta version right here. Make sure you delete this before you install the new one so you don't get confused. Because what's gonna happen is you're gonna be opening up the old one. There's gonna be two copies, it's gonna be kind of hectic. So make sure you guys just delete the old one off before you go ahead and download the new one, all right? So once we do that, guys, you can hop in my Discord or in Cronus's official Discord. I did post, you know, how to get the newest version of Zen Studio and your firmware. So once we do that, guys, we're gonna go ahead and download Zen Studio from the link in my Discord. Go ahead and tap that. And then we've got download Zen Studio right here. It's very straightforward, guys. Of course, you know how to use a computer because you're probably watching this from your computer. If not, you're watching it from your phone. So once you get that downloaded and deleted the old one, go ahead and open that bad boy up. And then what's gonna happen, guys, is it's gonna tell you that the firmware installed on your Cronus is not compatible with this version of Zen Studio. So then what we wanna do, guys, is go ahead and close Zen Studio out, and we're gonna run that CM update tool. Now, before you can run this tool right here, make sure you guys download it. You're gonna have to unplug your Cronus altogether. So use both cables, unplug them all together. Now, while you're plugging it back in, hold that blue button on the bottom to get it into bootloader mode. That is what you need to get it in before you'll be able to actually pull up this CMD update tool and then be able to update the firmware. So we're gonna go ahead and download it again just to show you guys how it worked. CM update tool, go ahead and click it, download it. I have four copies probably on my computer as you can see here. So we're gonna go ahead and open that bad boy up. So once we plug it into bootloader mode, we're gonna unplug, make sure everything's unplugged when you open this up. Hold down that blue button, plug it into the side of your Cronus and then your Cronus will say Zen bootloader. Plug in the back cable as well. Once you've done that, guys, it's gonna show your Cronus with your serial number. And then you can go in and uncheck this, update it to beta 4.1. Go ahead and hit continue, begin update. Bada bing, bada boom. Why it's updating, guys, make sure you hit a like on this video. Make sure you sub. Check out my latest video about the latest Taylor Drift script. It's absolutely bonkers. Uh, definitely check that script out. It's also in my Discord and in Taylor Drift's Discord as well. So we're gonna go ahead and flash this firmware once it's done. And then you should be able to go into your latest copy of Zen Studio. Now, of course, when you download it, make sure you create a shortcut, guys. It's gonna be hard to find that copy. So what I usually do is go under my downloads, find that copy, and then I drag it to my desktop. So that way I know, you know, which copy is the latest version and then I should be able to go ahead and open it up. And there you have it guys, you have the latest version of Zen Studio, you have the newest firmware as you can see here. Now you will see there's some new scripts and game packs and stuff like that. You've got your 32-bit Modern Warfare 2 beta, which is going to be our next video coming up tomorrow, so stay tuned for that. I've got some crazy good settings and stuff like that that you'll be able to play around with. There's not a whole lot, anything else that's really changed when it comes to uh, the Zen Studio itself. Everything is pretty much the same, but they did add some new game packs and stuff like that that I think you guys will really like that we're gonna dive into in the next video. So I did wanna throw this video up real quick just to show you guys how to install Zen Studio. Like I said, make sure you get rid of the old version, download the new version from my Discord, update your firmware with a CM update tool, and then you'll be able to open up Zen Studio. So I appreciate all the love and support. Enjoy the rest of your day. I hope this video helped you guys, and we'll see you on the next one. All right, peace. Hey.